Hey everyone, very good morning. I hope you are all ready for the practice. Today, take it as a challenge. So today's practice is more of a challenge from my side to you. All you have to do is once you start the practice, you cannot give up in between. You have to complete the entire thing. And if you did so, you are going to mention it in the comment box saying challenge accepted and completed. I am pretty excited. I am sure you are too. So without any further delay, let's get started. I hope you guys are ready for the session. So before we start our practice, make sure that you stand comfortably. Keep your mat comfortable. Keep your spine straight. Now, close your eyes. Relax your whole body. Take one long breath in. And a long breath out. Have a gentle smile on your face. Keep your forehead relaxed and slowly open your eyes. So let's start with a little bit of a warm up. Lift your hands up straight. Inhale. Let me show you this way. Okay. As you exhale, bend your knee a little. Slowly go down. Inhale, come up. Exhale, bend your knee a little. Go down. Inhale, come up. We're going to do this three more times. Exhale, down. Inhale up. When you go down and if you bend your knee softly, you'll end up giving a good stretch to the glutes more than your hamstrings. So as a warm up, I'm giving some stretch to the glutes. Last one. Exhale down. Stay here. Five. If you can't keep your palm down, if you can just touch your fingertips, do that. Three. Two. One, inhale, come up. Exhale to the right. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Let's do this two, three times. And also when you give a side stretch, try not to round your shoulder. Always keep your spine in a straight side line and keep giving the stretches. Slowly drop your hand down. Just now let's do some neck rotation. Anti-clockwise. Inhale and exhale. Gently keep rotating your neck in both the direction. First few rounds clockwise and then few rounds anti-clockwise. If you think like these are very mild warm-ups and session is going to be very simple, then you are wrong. Session is going to be quite intense. So try to spend some time in warm up because once you start the sequence, you won't have a break. Okay, last one shoulder movement. Clockwise, anti clockwise, few times. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Other side. The most important one, wrist rotation. A slow rotation to the clockwise and anti-clockwise. Okay, now let's start with straight away mountain posture. Inhale and exhale. While you exhale, stretch your spine completely. Drop your heels down one by one. Give a complete hamstring stretch. If you feel very comfortable in any posture, that means you have to push yourself a little. No asana, no posture can be very comfortable without feeling any stretches and it's still giving you flexibility or impact. It's very hard. So always try to see where are you lacking, what are you doing wrong and how can you make the posture better. Now slowly start taking step by step, baby steps towards the palm. Two, three, bend your knee if you can't go forward in a smooth way. If you think your hamstring is having a flexibility issue, try to bend your knee a little. Hold. Inhale, exhale. Slowly start walking back. One, two, 
थ्री फोर फाइव एंड कंप्लीट स्पाइन स्ट्रेच वे गोइंग टू स्टार्ट द सीक्वेंस फ्रॉम हियर वे गोइंग टू होल्ड इन ईच पॉर्चर फॉर फाइव काउंट फुल प्लान क्रेस्ट एंड शोल्डर इन वन लाइन फाइव फोर थ्री टू वन लिफ्ट योर हील अप लिफ्ट योर स्पाइन कीप योर लेफ्ट लेग डाउन टेक योर राइट लेग ऑल द वे अप एंड होल्ड डू नॉट बेंड यू नी डजेंट मैटर हाउ मच योर लेग हैज अ फ्लेक्सीबिलिटी टू गो अप स्टे अकॉर्डिंगली फाइव फोर थ्री टू वन बेंड योर नी एंड गेट इट क्लोजर टू द चेस्ट एंड होल्ड गेट योर नी इन बिटवीन बोथ द पाम दो फाइव फोर थ्री टू वन कीप योर वन लेग इन बिटवीन बोथ द पाम फ्रंट लेग नाइंटी डिग्री drop your hip down back knee straight now from here you're going to fix up your lower body that means you're not going to move your lower body you're going to use only your hands and upper body strength inhale you go up slowly exhale you drop your hand down i'm taking all the weight from my thighs inhale up exhale down Three. Inhale up. Exhale down. Four. Inhale up. Exhale down. The last one. Inhale up. Hold five. Four. Three. Two. one slowly drop your hands down take your leg back to full plank and hold 5 4 3 2 1 lift your hip up drop your right leg down take your left leg all the way up and hold 5 4 3 2 1 bend your knee and get your knee closer to the chest hold 5 4 3 2 1 keep your leg in between both the palm fix up your lower body slowly inhale you go up exhale drop your hand down 2 down 3 down 4 down 5 hold 5 4 3 2 slowly drop your hands down take your leg back to full plank Now we're going to try chaturanga dandasan but with five counts practice going down for five counts with me one elbow inside two three four five in chaturanga dandasan hold five four 3 two one inhale come up exhale parvatasan take your right leg all the way up stay 5 4 3 2 1 bend your knee get it closer to the chest 
and hold five four three two one drop your leg in between balance your tip of the toe slowly inhale up slowly exhale down two down three down four exhale down remember five fifth count we're gonna hold inhale up five four three two one slowly drop it down take your leg back to full plank five four three two and one come back to parvatasan now from here this time you're going to lift your left leg up stay here 5 4 3 2 1 slowly bend your knee get it closer to the chest and hold 5 4 3 2 1 1 get your leg in between both the palm drop your hip down balance with the help of your core inhale up exhale down 2 down 3 down 4 inhale up exhale down last one fifth one let's hold for five counts 5 4 3 and 1 slowly drop your hands down leg back to full plank Five. Keep breathing. Keep breathing. Four. Three. Two. One. Next, Chaturanga Dandasan. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Five. Four. Three. Two, one. Slowly drop your chest down. Inhale, come up. Give a nice stretch to the back. Look up. Breathe in, breathe out. Now slowly come to child posture. Keep your both the knee apart. Drop your hip down and extend your hands. Drop your forehead down. just try to get your breath back to normal breathe in breathe out try to slow down your breath and stay here for some time if at all you find it too hard to sit back in child posture you can also drop your hand down and then drop your head down this would be slightly easier whatever works well for you just try to be relaxed and try to hold into any posture which is going to give you some relaxation now slowly come back to center once you feel little better please come to either vajrasana or sukhasana 
both the hands in chin mudra <coughs> close your eyes slow and deep inhale slow exhalation inhale and exhale now slowly try to pay attention to the way you breathe in breathe out relax your forehead have a gentle smile on your face it's important that after any practice you need to get yourself relaxed and back to normal stage before you get back to your regular routine if you're still running out of breath i would request you to spend few more minutes relaxing once you feel better slowly get your both the palm together rub your both the palm make it warm and drop it on your eyes and face slowly open your eyes and look into your palm i hope you had a quick high intensity practice for your entire body which works on your little bit of a core arms legs and the whole body please do share your experience after this quick session how do you feel in the comment box what other practice you want to do if you have a topic in your mind please drop down in your comments thank you so much if you like practicing with me don't forget to like the video